Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did because I think we're gonna go play out and about in the world, uh, make sure you come back tomorrow. I'm leaving Orange Theory. It was a really good class. Um, definitely felt the day after day, which I usually don't do with Orange Theory, but yesterday was a special class. But yeah, I gotta go home and get refreshed, have some breakfast, see if my friends are awake. And then I think, uh, I don't know, I think, I think Sarah should edit the vlog later and I think we should just go out. We got the little bear all suited up. We are out earlier than expected. So it's a little bit chillier than expected. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go to Whole Foods and get some vegan donuts. Maybe a coffee. Yeah. Look at these cute shirts. Oh, this one has Route 66 on it. Oh, that's so cute. That's nice. Milwaukee. What do you think? We're gonna enjoy our donuts outside of Wrigley. And some dip. Check out the schedule. Well, this is last year's schedule. Right. From afar, we thought it was this year's. We just got our season tickets uploaded. To uh -huh. So, like, we've had like the season tickets, but they didn't upload them digitally to the app because we don't get paper tickets. I'm gonna be honest. I thought we were getting paper tickets, and I was like excited, like in fever pitch. Look at this. When they like. 41 days. Show the tickets arriving and them getting so excited. I thought we were gonna have that moment, but. Four tickets. Wow. Starting April 4th. That's soon. As long as everybody gets their uh, act together. Act together with the contracts. Woo! She's coming for the donuts. We got vanilla. We got, oh dear, sir. <laughs> we got a squished maple. Oh, oh and a chocolate. that have Christmas Eve and Christmas Day on their like everyday time yeah. open and close. We came downtown. We're just gonna go in some shops, okay? Good. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Ooh, truffles. We've never even heard of this place before. All these bars of chocolate. Oh, I didn't even see how beautiful it is back here. Oh my gosh. A little secret courtyard. I got a small dark hot chocolate. Peter got an espresso. Which way now? We're gonna go to Italy. You find the ledge? That's what you do, you know? Excited? Do we even know what's coming? Oh. Ooh. Oh, a bag. This is for you. Oh, 
chemin. Okay, you can take it. This is yours. So make or break. <laughs> Alright, James is being a total weirdo and not really eating his <laughs> treat. Sarah's gonna humor me and try espresso. A tiny sip. But she's got her drinkable Sarah, chocolate. I don't wanna drink it all. There's only so much. No, just take a sip. That's all you're gonna be able to choke. You're gonna be able to choke down like your tongue touching it like Squidward eating a Krabby Patty. Makes you want to go to the bathroom, right? This is just like the worst flavor you could have imagined in a concentrated form. Why so funny? <laughs> this is like super rich, but it is darker, so it's not like super sweet. I couldn't, really I couldn't good. drink that, but the espresso is good. We're actually right across the street from the new Gordon Ramsay Burger, which I don't think we're gonna go to today, but I'd like to go to soon. Yeah, is it forever? Yeah. I thought it was like a pop-up. That I don't, looks real. That looks I think it's legit. Yeah, we should go. Oh, that's a better bite. Mmm. <laughs> he smiled and like looked off to the side. So this building is a Chicago landmark. And I hope that you pause and read this. The last sentence is super cool. It is believed to be the nation's oldest surviving artist's studio building. It's pretty cool. And I think that what that's referencing is that outdoor little patio that, like, I guess it's, like, it's less of a patio and more of like a courtyard. It's beautiful. All right, here's another, the next big pit stop. We'll be in here probably for a while. Italy, which we've shown a few times. It's just so good, so classic. If you ever come to Chicago with friends, just like family or friends, just like you can walk around here in an afternoon and drink wine, limoncello, get meats, cheeses, produce. Just like, if you're here in the winter, like a good, like, get away from the cold. Yeah. And there's bathrooms. Yes. But there's like, you can walk around with food, walk around with drinks. So good. We are too enthralled upstairs to film. But we are going to try out these two little carbonated beverages. So we came into the shops at Nor Northbridge. Northbridge. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just don't. I don't reference this a lot. But the company I worked with before we moved to Florida did all that vinyl, and I like had taken over the installation. So I laid some of those graphics out. We got a snoozer. <laughs> so we're gonna take a little break. So there is a fog, like a dense fog warning. And look at this. Can't even see the building. Look at that eternal stare down. Look at this display. We gotta switch out our Valentine's Day decorations for St. Patrick's Day. home. We brought the magnets out here for him to play with on the TV stand. Thank you. This is Orange Bird. Yeah. Oh. We're going to test the waters and see if he's ready for a snooze. Look at this walking kid. 
Alrighty, I got the vlog up. Peter had gotten James down. He's been down for like an hour and a half. Um, but we're gonna sneaky snack because he is actually sleeping in our room. I don't wanna start cooking yet because it's a little bit too close and I don't wanna wake him up. So we're gonna eat some pita chips and this tomb dip. We got this today while we were at Whole Foods and we got this and Buffalo. We were eating it when we like were hanging out by Wrigley earlier. And we've had this before at the I Dream of Falafel restaurant we go to um, on Belmont. And it's so yummy. And it's like so nice not just to have like a dollop um, on our meal there, but like to actually just like dip to our heart's content. So we're going to have the original now. The buffalo is so yummy. Excuse me, Evie. Have you been a good girl? Or naughty during Jamesy's nap. Naughty. We're finishing up cheer. Or do you want to watch Peaky Blinders? <gasps> Evie just swiped a conversation heart. Right now I'm trying to find some Doritos. In this backlit shot. <laughs> Tangy pickles. Tangy pickle. I saw them on the Instagram feed and requested a search party. According to Frito-Lay's product locator, a Walgreens not far from us has the chips if they're in stock. So I was like, no, not tonight. But I looked at her and I said, if not tonight, then when? It's a holiday weekend. It's 5.30. It's time for fun Doritos. <laughs> that Walgreens didn't have any. But I couldn't leave without anything. So I got some other like newer, fancier Doritos. Um, and I'm gonna head back now. But there are other locations that I haven't available that we'll find soon. Oh. Peter went on a Dorito pick because they didn't have the, the pickle ones. I tried these at Antanas. Really? Are they good? Cooler Ranch. <laughs> James is awake. <laughs> and we still have that mound of laundry to fold. Let's try these first. These are all spicy. You like spicy. You say it's like a memory. Good. Good? Yeah, he does like spicy. <laughs> what do you think about that one? Least spicy, most enjoyable. James got a little scorned by. I gave him a flame of hot corn ranch chip. He was like, <laughs> "Thankfully, we have a huge tub of water." He hasn't taken a bite of this one. Look at this delicious and decadent pasta Sarah made. Just use some pesto and noodles. <laughs> well, James wants to put this straw in my. Well, it looks delicious. All right, three day weekend is quickly coming to an end. Sarah just put James down. We started a new nighttime routine of just like hanging out together, reading books, having a calm time in his room with just a dim light on to kind of get him settled into the mood of going to sleep. Um, so I think that worked out pretty well, but we'll see. Only time will shit will tell. Um, I think we're gonna watch an episode of Peaky Blinders before we go to bed because we're gonna get up early tomorrow. So I think Sarah's going to get one of the fancy drinks that we got from Italy today for her to enjoy while we watch this Peaky Blinders episode. How is that? It's How do you say it? Gazosa? Gazosa. La Nostra Gazosa. Carbonated lemon beverage. That's nice. Naturally flavored with lemon costa del mafia. Should we just sign off now? It's good to be home. Get me home. Thanks for coming along on our <laughs> President's Day weekend. What? Didn't make a noise. I did. <laughs> That's your lips. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>